This video will show you how to prepare dried samples of slime mold on filter paper for long-term storage in the freezer. First, get a plate of slime mold with excess growth. After about one week of storage, the slime mold may grow onto the lid or even out of the petri dish. Carefully open the lid of the petri dish. The lid can be slightly stuck to the petri dish because of the excess slime mold. Next, prepare a clean piece of filter paper. Use a clean spatula to collect the slime mold overgrowth on a piece of filter paper. The slime mold is soft and slimy. It can stick to the plate and can sometimes be difficult to remove. You may collect multiple fragments of slime mold from different plates. Next, Use the spatula to slightly flatten the slime mold. The slime mold should appear as a thick brown layer and not a thin yellow layer. Do not smear the slime mold into a thin layer. If so, the slime mold will not revive when it is rehydrated. Store the slime mold in a cool dark place for about a week to dry. Without moisture, the slime mold will dry out and harden. Collect the slime mold after it is dry. The plasmodium slime mold is converted into a resting structure called the sclerotium. It should appear crusty and not glossy. Use a pair of scissors to trim away the excess clean filter paper. Next, cut the filter paper with dried slime mold into small squares that measure about 1cm in length. Ensure that the dried slime mold is not exposed to moisture at this stage. It will return to the actively growing plasmodial stage when exposed to moisture. Seal the dried slime mold in a plastic bag. Keep the dried slime mold in the freezer. If you wish to revive the slime mold, simply take one piece of the dried slime mold and place it on a new agar plate with oat flakes. You may add a drop of water onto the dried slime mold. The slime mold will grow and spread beyond the piece of filter paper within a day.